Chapter 1. Introduction to Analyzing People. Understanding the Art of Reading People. Welcome to Read People, How to Analyze People on First Sight. This book is designed to equip you with the skills necessary to understand and interpret the behaviors, emotions, and motivations of those around you simply by observing them. Whether in personal relationships, professional environments, or casual encounters, the ability to read people effectively can provide invaluable insights into human behavior, enhancing your interactions and enabling better decision-making. Why learn to read people? In today's fast-paced world, where interactions can be brief yet impactful, understanding the nuances of human behavior is more critical than ever. By learning to analyze people, you can enhance communication. Adjust your communication style based on your understanding of the other person's mood and personality. Build better relationships. Gain deeper insights into the needs and wants of others, improving your ability to connect on a meaningful level. Prevent conflicts. Identify potential misunderstandings before they escalate. Boost career prospects. Understand your colleagues and superiors better, allowing for a smoother workplace environment and more effective teamwork. The Foundation of Reading People The ability to read others relies on a combination of observational skills, psychological understanding, and empathy. This book will cover the following foundational elements. Nonverbal communication. Learn to interpret body language, facial expressions, and other physical signals to gather insights without a word being spoken. Verbal cues. Understand how what people say, and how they say it, provides deeper insight into their true feelings and thoughts. Contextual analysis. Discover how to put both verbal and nonverbal cues into the context of the situation, environment, and known factors about the individual. Empathy and emotional intelligence. Develop these key traits to enhance your sensitivity to the emotions and states of others. How this book is structured. This book is divided into detailed chapters that focus on different aspects of reading people. Each chapter will provide you with theoretical knowledge and practical exercises designed to enhance your observational skills. Here's what to expect in the upcoming chapters. The basics of nonverbal communication. An in-depth look at how to read body language and facial expressions. Deciphering verbal communication. Techniques to understand underlying meanings in spoken words. Contextual clues and situational analysis. How to analyze the broader context of interactions. Psychological Theories Behind Human Behavior An Overview of the Psychological Principles that Underpin Behavior Practical Applications and Exercises Real-Life Applications and Exercises to Practice Your Skills Chapter 2 The Basics of Nonverbal Communication Mastering Body Language When you first meet someone, before a single word is exchanged, their body is already speaking volumes. It's crucial to understand and interpret this language of gestures, postures, and expressions to truly grasp what the person might be feeling or thinking. The Power of the Eyes Eyes are often termed the windows to the soul, and for good reason. They convey the depth of emotions, from joy to sorrow, anger to affection. For instance, when someone maintains direct eye contact, it could signify confidence and honesty. Conversely, if a person frequently looks away, they might be feeling uncomfortable or trying to hide something. Tip. To connect genuinely, maintain natural eye contact during a conversation. This not only shows your interest, but also helps engaging the other person's emotional state. Facial expressions. Beyond the smile. Facial expressions are a critical part of our communication arsenal. A smile might indicate friendliness and openness, but look deeper. Does the smile reach their eyes? This can tell you whether the emotion is genuine or just a social mask. Similarly, frowns, furrowed brows, and even subtle changes around the mouth provide clues about a person's true feelings. Tip. Practice observing subtle facial changes in different social settings. It sharpens your ability to detect genuine emotions versus social facades. The language of hands. Hands reveal thoughts and feelings as much as the face does. Clenched fists can indicate stress or anger, while open hands might show openness and receptivity. Gestures can also vary in meaning depending on culture, so it's important to understand the context in which they occur. 
Tip. Encourage openness in conversation by keeping your own hands visible and using open gestures. This not only makes you appear more trustworthy, but also subtly influences others to be more open with you. Posture and positioning. The way a person stands or sits can also tell a great deal about their attitude and emotions. For example, crossed arms might suggest defensiveness or self-protection, while leaning in can show interest and engagement. Tip. To foster a friendly and open interaction, mirror the posture of the person you are speaking with. This creates a subconscious bond and makes the other person feel more at ease. The subtleties of space. Personal space varies culturally and personally, but is always significant. Invading someone's personal space can make them feel uncomfortable or threatened, while too much distance might be perceived as disinterest. Tip. Respect personal space, adjusting your distance based on cues. If someone seems to back away, give them space. Conversely, closing the distance slightly can create a connection in a welcoming environment. Honing your observational skills. To become proficient in reading body language, practice is key. Observe people everywhere, on the street, in cafes, at work. See if you can guess their emotions and check their verbal communication to see if you were right. This continual practice will not only enhance your ability to read others, but also help you become more aware of your own nonverbal signals. Remember, while nonverbal communication can reveal a lot, it's not an exact science. It's essential to consider the entire situation and other cues before drawing conclusions. By paying attention to these silent signals, you become better equipped to navigate social landscapes, build stronger relationships, and engage with others in a meaningful way. Chapter 3. Deciphering Verbal Communication Tuning into Tone and Tempo The way people speak, their tone, tempo, and volume, can often tell you more than the words they use. A calm, steady voice suggests confidence and composure, while a higher pitch may betray anxiety or excitement. Listening to how someone speaks gives insights into their current state of mind and emotions. Tip. When engaging in conversation, note variations in the person's vocal pitch and speed. Sudden changes can indicate shifts in emotional states, giving you cues on how to steer the conversation to either calm them or match their enthusiasm. Word choice and language patterns. The specific words and phrases people choose can reveal their education level, cultural background, and even their personality traits. Someone who uses complex vocabulary may be well-read or want to impress. In contrast, simple and direct language might indicate a straightforward and honest personality. Tip. Pay attention to repeated phrases or words. These can be key to understanding what is important to someone or what they might be trying to hide. Listening for what isn't said. Sometimes, what people don't say is just as important as what they do. Pauses, hesitations, and evasions can be very telling. A pause before answering a question might mean they are unsure or weighing their words carefully. Tip. Encourage openness by being patient during pauses. Show that you are willing to wait for their response, which can help them feel more comfortable and less pressured to speak. The Art of Active Listening Active listening involves fully concentrating, understanding, responding, and then remembering what is being said. This is not just about hearing words, but about understanding the complete message being communicated. Tip. Use affirming gestures or words like nodding your head or saying I understand to show you are engaged. This not only boosts the speaker's confidence, but also encourages them to open up more and share deeper thoughts. Harnessing Empathy in Conversations Empathy is about more than just recognizing someone's emotions. It's about truly feeling what they are feeling as if you were in their shoes. This deep level of understanding can transform your interactions and create profound connections. Tip. To develop empathy, try to relate your own experiences to what the other person is describing. This helps in genuinely understanding their perspective and responding with sincerity and compassion. Cultivating Sensitivity to Cultural Nuances In a globalized world, interactions often cross cultural lines. Each culture has its norms for communication, including what is said, how it is said, and what is intentionally left unsaid. Tip. Educate yourself about cultural differences in communication styles. 
Being aware of these can prevent misunderstandings and show respect for other cultures, which is often greatly appreciated. By mastering these aspects of verbal communication, you enhance not just your ability to analyze others, but also your capacity to connect deeply. Remember, effective communication is at the heart of all successful relationships, be they personal or professional. As you practice these skills, observe the change not only in how others respond to you, but also in how your own understanding of human interactions deepens. Chapter 4. Contextual Clues and Situational Analysis The Influence of Context on Communication Understanding the context in which interactions occur is crucial to accurately reading people. The environment, the occasion, and even the time of day can significantly influence how people express themselves and interact with others. Observing Environmental Influences The setting of a conversation can affect the behavior and mood of those involved. A noisy, crowded room might make someone appear distracted or irritable, not necessarily reflecting their usual demeanor. Conversely, a quiet, intimate setting might encourage more open and sincere communication. Tip. Always consider the setting when analyzing someone's behavior. If the environment seems to be influencing them, note this as you interpret their words and actions. Timing and its psychological impact. Timing can also play a critical role in how people communicate. For example, someone who is hurried or under stress may come across as curt or dismissive, which is more reflective of their circumstances than their character. Tip. When you notice someone is pressed for time or seems stressed, give them the benefit of the doubt. This understanding can prevent misinterpretations and foster more forgiving interactions. Analyzing group dynamics. When people are in groups, their behavior can change significantly. They may conform to the group's norms or act out to stand out, depending on their personality and the group's dynamics. Identifying Roles Within Groups In any group, you'll find different roles people play, such as the leader, the mediator, or the challenger. Recognizing these roles can provide insights into each individual's personality and their influence within the group. Tip. Watch how individuals interact within a group setting. Who takes charge? Who tries to keep the peace? Understanding these dynamics can give you clues about each person's true nature and intentions. The impact of relationships. The nature of the relationship between people can also affect their interactions. Two people who are close friends may communicate in shorthand or with nonverbal cues that are difficult for outsiders to understand. Tip. When analyzing interactions, consider the participants' relationships. Are they family, friends, or colleagues? This understanding can help decode seemingly cryptic interactions. Leveraging Situational Awareness Being aware of the broader situation, including social, cultural, and historical factors, can enrich your understanding of an interaction. This broader awareness can help you avoid misinterpretations that might arise from ignoring these crucial elements. Considering Cultural Backgrounds Cultural backgrounds can influence how people communicate and interpret messages. What is considered polite in one culture can be perceived as aloof in another. Tip. Develop a sensitivity to cultural variations by learning about different cultural communication styles and norms. This not only enhances your analytical skills, but also shows respect and consideration for diversity. By integrating situational analysis into your skill set, you empower yourself to read people not just at the surface level, but with a deep appreciation of the complexities that influence human behavior. This comprehensive understanding allows you to navigate social interactions with grace and tact, building bridges, and fostering connections that are based on genuine understanding and mutual respect. Chapter 5. Psychological Theories Behind Human Behavior Understanding the Frameworks of Psychology To truly excel in reading people, one must have a fundamental understanding of the psychological theories that explain human behavior. These frameworks help us to not only interpret what we observe, but also to predict how people might behave in different situations. The Theory of Personality Types Personality psychology provides various models that categorize different types of personalities. One of the most popular models, the Big Five Personality Traits, includes openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. 
Knowing these traits can help you quickly assess someone's general disposition. Tip. When you meet someone new, try to gently assess which big five traits they exhibit. This can guide how you approach your interactions with them, tailoring your communication to resonate with their personality style. The Role of Cognitive Biases Cognitive biases affect the way people perceive reality and make decisions. For instance, the confirmation bias leads people to favor information that confirms their pre-existing beliefs. Being aware of these biases in others, and in yourself, can significantly improve your interactions. Tip. Stay mindful of biases when conversing with others. Recognize when your perceptions might be clouded by your own biases, and strive for objectivity. Motivation and its influence on behavior. Understanding what motivates a person is key to understanding their actions and reactions. Motivation theories, like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, suggest that human actions are propelled by an attempt to fulfill certain needs, from the most basic physiological needs to higher-level self-actualization needs. Analyzing motivational drivers. People often communicate both verbally and non-verbally in ways that express their current motivational drivers. For example, someone who discusses future plans passionately might be driven by a need for self-actualization. Tip. Listen and observe carefully to identify what drives someone. This knowledge can help you connect more deeply and support them in ways that are meaningful and impactful. The Influence of Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence, EI, is the ability to understand and manage your own emotions and those of the people around you. People with high EI are usually more successful in personal and professional settings because they can navigate social complexities well. Cultivating your emotional intelligence. Improving your emotional intelligence involves self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. Each component plays a crucial role in enhancing your ability to read others accurately. Tip. Practice self-reflection regularly to enhance your emotional awareness. The more in tune you are with your own emotions, the better you can understand and empathize with others. Applying social psychology in everyday interactions. Social psychology examines how people's thoughts, feelings, and behaviors are influenced by the actual, imagined, or implied presence of others. Understanding social psychology can help you read group dynamics more effectively and predict behaviors in social settings. Utilizing Psychological Insights Armed with psychological insights, you can navigate complex social landscapes with greater ease and confidence. This knowledge allows you to be proactive in your interactions, anticipating and effectively responding to various social cues and needs. By integrating these psychological theories into your practice of reading people, you enhance not only your ability to understand others, but also your capacity to influence and build strong relationships. This understanding fosters a more compassionate and empathetic approach, enriching both your personal and professional life. Chapter 6. Practical Applications and Exercises Sharpening Your Observational Skills To become adept at reading people, it's essential to practice and refine your observational skills. This means actively engaging in exercises that challenge you to notice and interpret the myriad cues people give off through their behavior, speech, and even their silences. Exercise. People watching with purpose. Choose a public place where you can observe interactions without participating. It could be a park, a coffee shop, or a shopping mall. Take note of the interactions around you and try to interpret the dynamics. Observe body language, facial expressions, and any verbal exchanges you can hear. Make mental or written notes about what you think each person is feeling or thinking based on their nonverbal cues. Tip. Regular practice will help you become more attuned to subtle changes in posture, expression, and tone that might indicate someone's emotional state or intentions. Enhancing your listening skills. Listening is as much about hearing the words as it is about understanding the emotions and intentions behind them. Good listeners are not only better at interpreting information, but also at forming strong relationships. Exercise. Active listening drill. Partner with a friend or colleague and have a conversation where one of you speaks about something significant to them while the other practices active listening. 
This involves maintaining eye contact, nodding, using facial expressions, and verbal affirmations like, I see, or I understand. After the conversation, the listener should summarize what was said to check their understanding and empathy levels. Tip. This exercise can improve your ability to listen deeply, which is critical when trying to read people in more complex or emotional situations. Practicing Empathy Empathy allows you to connect on a deeper level, making it easier to read people accurately. It involves more than just understanding someone's perspective. It's about genuinely feeling what they feel. Exercise The Empathy Swap Share a personal story with someone and have them share one with you. Try to really feel what it was like to be in their situation and ask them to do the same for you. Discuss afterward how accurate each of you was in understanding and empathizing with the other's feelings and perspectives. Tip. This can help build your capacity for empathy, making it easier to connect with and read others' emotions and motivations accurately. Applying what you learn. The real test of your ability to read people comes when you apply your skills in real-life situations. Whether in professional settings, personal relationships, or casual encounters, being able to read people accurately can significantly enhance your interactions. Exercise. Real-life application. At your next meeting or social gathering, use the skills you've practiced to read the room. Pay attention to who seems open, who seems reserved, and try to understand why. Use your insights to guide how you interact with each person. Tip. Applying these skills in real time helps solidify your learning and makes the technique second nature. By engaging regularly in these exercises and applying what you learn, you'll find that your ability to read people improves significantly. Not only will this enhance your interpersonal relationships, but it will also give you greater confidence in your ability to navigate social situations effectively. This skill set is invaluable, both personally and professionally and it can be improved and refined with dedication and practice. Chapter 7. Building Trust and Rapport The Significance of Trust in Human Relationships Trust is the cornerstone of all meaningful relationships. Whether personal or professional, building trust can dramatically improve your ability to read and connect with others. Understanding how to establish and maintain trust is essential for anyone looking to enhance their interpersonal effectiveness. Exercise. Trust through transparency. Start by sharing small, non-critical pieces of personal information with others in a conversation. This act of openness often encourages reciprocity. Observe how this openness impacts the dynamics of the conversation and whether it leads to more open and trusting interactions. Tip. Transparency fosters trust, but must be appropriate to the level of the relationship. Gauge how much to share and when as oversharing too soon can have the opposite effect. The Role of Rapport in Reading Others Rapport is the harmonious connection that sometimes occurs almost instantaneously between people, but can also be developed over time. When you have rapport, people are more likely to open up to you, providing more data points to read their true feelings and thoughts. Exercise Mirroring to Connect Mirroring is subtly mimicking the other person's body language, speech patterns, or attitudes. In your next interaction, try this technique to build rapport. Notice if it makes the conversation flow more smoothly and if the other person seems more at ease. Tip. While mirroring can be highly effective, it's important to remain genuine. Overdoing it can seem insincere or manipulative. Navigating Emotional Waters Emotions play a huge role in how people communicate. Being sensitive to the emotional context of your interactions can greatly enhance your ability to read people accurately. Exercise. Emotional Labeling. During conversations, try to label the emotions you perceive in the other person. You might say, It sounds like you're really passionate about this. Or, I sense some hesitation. Are you feeling uncertain? This can help validate the other person's feelings and deepen the connection. Tip. Emotional labeling should be done sensitively and respectfully. It's about acknowledging feelings without making assumptions or judgments. The Power of Listening in Building Relationships Listening is perhaps the most powerful tool for building trust and rapport. It involves not just hearing words, 
but also understanding and responding to the underlying emotions and thoughts. Exercise. Reflective listening. Practice reflective listening by paraphrasing what the other person has said and repeating it back to them. This shows that you are not only listening, but also processing and understanding their message. Tip. Make sure your reflections are accurate and add value to the conversation. This encourages deeper dialogue and trust. By focusing on these areas, you enhance your ability to read people by not just observing them, but by actively engaging with them in a meaningful way. Building trust and rapport not only improves the quality of your interactions, but also deepens your understanding of others, providing you with greater insight into their true selves. This understanding is crucial for anyone who seeks to influence, lead, or simply connect more deeply with those around them. Chapter 8. Advanced Techniques in Analyzing People The Subtlety of Microexpressions Microexpressions are brief, involuntary facial expressions that occur in response to a strong emotion, but last only a fraction of a second. Mastering the interpretation of these quick flashes of emotion can provide deep insights into a person's true feelings, often before they have had a chance to consciously mask them. Exercise. Training to spot microexpressions. Start by watching videos specifically designed to teach recognition of microexpressions. Pay close attention to the quick changes in the face when people are reacting to questions or situations. Try to pause the video and identify the emotion. As you get better, you will start to notice these in real-time interactions. Tip. This skill requires consistent practice. The more you train, the more naturally it will come to you in everyday situations. Leveraging voice analysis. The tone, pace, and volume of a person's voice can reveal more than just their current mood. It can also give clues about their personality traits. Voice analysis involves listening not just to what is said, but how it is said. Exercise. Voice tone journaling. Keep a journal of your interactions, noting down specifics about voice tone, pace, and pitch, especially when emotions change. Reflect on how these changes correlated with different emotional states or topics of conversation. Tip. Recognizing patterns in how voice alterations correlate with different emotions can significantly enhance your understanding and anticipation of others' reactions. Utilizing contextual reframing. Understanding the context in which words or actions occur is crucial for accurate analysis. Contextual reframing involves looking at the same behavior in different situations to get a clearer picture of a person's behavior patterns. Exercise. Role-playing different scenarios. Engage in role-playing exercises where the same phrase is said in multiple contexts. Notice how the meaning of the phrase shifts with changes in the scenario and discuss why the perception changes with your role-play partner. Tip. This exercise can help you understand how context shapes interpretation and can improve your ability to read the underlying messages in conversations. Applying Behavioral Psychology Principles Behavioral psychology explores the connection between our minds and our behavior, particularly how we learn from our environment. Applying these principles can help predict future behavior based on observed patterns. Exercise. Behavior Pattern Analysis. Track behaviors of people in different situations over time. Look for triggers that cause certain behaviors to manifest. Analyze how the individuals adapt or respond to varying circumstances and predict how they might behave in future similar situations. Tip. Understanding and anticipating behavior patterns can enhance your interpersonal interactions and allow you to better manage your responses and expectations. By mastering these advanced techniques, you deepen your ability to analyze and understand those around you on a more profound level. These skills enable not only a better comprehension of individual behaviors and emotions, but also improve your ability to interact effectively, anticipate needs, and respond appropriately in a variety of social and professional settings. This expertise ultimately enhances your influence and effectiveness in all your personal and professional relationships. Chapter 9 Navigating Conflict Through Understanding The Importance of Conflict Resolution Conflict is a natural part of human interaction, but the way it is handled can either strengthen or weaken relationships. Understanding the underlying emotions and motivations in conflicts can guide you to resolutions that not only address the immediate issue, but also enhance the relationship. 
Exercise. The Role Reversal. In this exercise, when a conflict arises, try to fully assume the other person's perspective. Discuss the situation with a neutral third party and present the argument from the other person's point of view. This can help you understand the emotional and rational foundations of their stance. Tip. Practicing this role reversal can lead to greater empathy and reduce personal bias, making it easier to find mutual ground and resolve conflicts. Detecting underlying issues in conflicts. Many conflicts stem from underlying issues that are not immediately apparent. Being able to detect these root causes can prevent recurring conflicts and lead to more sustainable solutions. Exercise. Five Whys Technique. When faced with a conflict, ask why five times to dig deeper into the initial reason provided. This technique can uncover deeper issues and motivations that are fueling the conflict. Tip. Be patient and non-confrontational when applying this technique. The goal is to uncover truth, not to place blame or create defensiveness. Utilizing Tactical Empathy Tactical empathy involves understanding the emotions of the other person and using that understanding to influence the situation in a positive way. This approach can disarm conflict and lead to more effective communication. Exercise Emotional Mapping before entering into a conflict resolution situation, map out the possible emotions that the other party might be experiencing. Consider their perspective thoroughly and plan your responses to align with their emotional state, showing that you understand and respect their feelings. Tip. Tactical empathy requires genuine concern for the other's emotional state, not just as a strategy, but as a fundamental part of respectful interaction. Enhancing Communication in Tense Situations Effective communication is crucial, especially in tense situations. Clear, empathetic, and purposeful communication can help de-escalate conflicts and pave the way for a resolution. Exercise I Statements and Active Listening Practice Using I statements to express your feelings without blaming the other person, such as I feel emotion when situation. Combine this with active listening skills to ensure you fully understand the other person's point of view. Tip. This method of communication reduces the likelihood of defensive responses and helps keep the discussion focused on resolving the issue rather than escalating the conflict. By improving your ability to understand and navigate conflicts through these practices, you not only resolve the immediate issues more effectively, but also build stronger, more resilient relationships. This skill is invaluable in all areas of life, helping you to manage personal and professional relationships with grace and efficacy. Chapter 10. Enhancing Personal and Professional Relationships The Power of Positive Influence In both personal and professional realms, the ability to positively influence others is a valuable skill. This involves more than just persuading people. It's about inspiring, motivating, and encouraging them to see and achieve their best potential. Exercise. The Compliment Sandwich. When providing feedback, especially in a professional context, use the compliment sandwich technique. Start with a positive comment, follow with the constructive feedback, and conclude with another positive comment. This approach helps soften the impact of the criticism and reinforces positive behavior, making the feedback more palatable and actionable. Tip. Genuine compliments are key. Insincerity can be easily detected and might undermine your message. Building lasting connections. Long-term relationships, whether with friends, family, or colleagues, require continuous effort and understanding. Regularly investing in these relationships can build a deep sense of loyalty and trust. Exercise. Regular check-ins. Schedule. Regular check-ins with important people in your life, not just when you need something or when there's a problem to solve. Use these moments to celebrate their successes, offer support during challenges, or simply share life updates. This shows that you value the relationship beyond what it brings to you practically. Tip. Consistency is crucial. Even a quick message or call can make a big difference in maintaining strong connections. Mastering the Art of Negotiation Effective negotiation is not about winning at the other's expense, it's about finding solutions that are acceptable and beneficial to all involved parties. 
This requires understanding the other's needs and creatively addressing them while also satisfying your own. Exercise. Win-win scenario. Planning. Before entering a negotiation, prepare by thinking of various win-win scenarios where both parties could leave satisfied. Consider the other party's potential needs and how they might align with your goals. Tip. Always approach negotiations with flexibility and a willingness to compromise. This fosters a cooperative atmosphere that is conducive to reaching amicable agreements. Leveraging Emotional Intelligence in Leadership Leaders with high emotional intelligence can inspire and motivate their teams, creating an environment where employees feel valued and understood. Exercise Emotional Leadership Role Play Participate in role-playing exercises that focus on handling different leadership challenges with emotional intelligence. For instance, how would you handle a team member who is underperforming due to personal issues? Or how would you motivate a team facing burnout? Tip. Reflect on these role plays to identify emotional cues and appropriate responses that align with empathetic leadership practices. By focusing on these areas, you enhance not just your interpersonal skills, but also your impact as a leader and influencer in every sphere of your life. The ability to nurture relationships, negotiate effectively, and lead with empathy are essential skills that will help you build a network of strong, healthy connections that can significantly boost both personal happiness and professional success. Chapter 11. Cultivating Self-Awareness and Personal Growth. Embracing Self-Reflection. Self-awareness is a foundational skill in personal development. It involves understanding your own emotions, strengths, weaknesses, desires, and fears. Reflecting on these aspects of yourself can help you navigate your interactions with others more effectively and authentically. Exercise. Daily Reflection Journal. Keep a daily journal where you reflect on your day's experiences, focusing on your reactions, thoughts, and feelings. Over time, Patterns will emerge that reveal more about your personal tendencies, triggers, and values. Tip. Use this journal not only to record events, but also to explore why you reacted in certain ways. This practice can lead to deeper self-understanding and better control over your responses. Developing Emotional Resilience Emotional resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks and maintain positive functioning under stress. Strengthening this quality enables you to handle interpersonal challenges and conflicts with greater ease. Exercise. Stress Response Scenarios. Create scenarios that typically stress you and strategize healthy ways to respond. Role play these scenarios with a friend or mentor, practicing your responses and refining them based on feedback. Tip. Focusing on solution-oriented responses in stressful situations can help you develop a more resilient mindset. Expanding Emotional Vocabulary Having a rich emotional vocabulary allows you to express your feelings more precisely, both to yourself and others. This clarity can enhance your relationships and your emotional intelligence. Exercise Emotion Word of the Day Each day, choose a new emotion word and explore its meaning and nuances. Try to use it in your conversations throughout the day to become more precise and nuanced in expressing your feelings. Tip. This exercise not only broadens your emotional vocabulary, but also makes you more attentive to the variety of emotions you experience daily. Practicing Mindfulness Mindfulness involves maintaining a moment-by-moment -moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and surrounding environment. This practice can enhance your ability to remain present and engaged in your interactions with others. Exercise. Mindful breathing. Spend a few minutes each day practicing mindful breathing. Focus solely on your breath, observing each inhale and exhale without judgment. When your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to your breath. Tip. Regular mindfulness practice can help reduce stress, increase focus, and improve your emotional reactivity in interpersonal situations. By cultivating these aspects of self-awareness and personal growth, you enhance your ability to understand and manage yourself. This foundational skill set not only improves your personal well-being, but also enriches your interactions with others, making you a more empathetic and effective communicator, leader, and partner.
Chapter 12. Leveraging Social Intelligence in Diverse Settings Understanding Social Intelligence Social intelligence is the ability to successfully navigate complex social environments and relationships, understanding how to behave in different social situations to obtain the best outcomes. It involves awareness of situational and social dynamics, as well as a keen understanding of the motives, feelings, and behaviors of others. Exercise Social Observation Drill Spend time in a diverse setting, such as a multicultural festival or a busy public area, and observe the interactions around you. Take notes on how people from different backgrounds communicate and interact. Look for nonverbal cues, conversational styles, and group dynamics. Tip. The goal is to enhance your ability to adapt your behavior and communication style to match different social contexts and cultural norms effectively. The Role of Adaptability in Social Intelligence Being adaptable in your social interactions allows you to connect with a wider range of people and navigate various social settings with ease. Adaptability involves adjusting your communication style and behavior based on the current social context. Exercise Role-playing Different Social Roles Engage in role-playing exercises where you adopt different social roles or personas based on diverse social settings. For instance, how would you interact in a formal business meeting versus a casual community gathering? Tip. This practice helps you develop flexibility in your interactions, making you more adept at shifting your communication style as needed. Enhancing empathy in diverse groups. Empathy is crucial for building rapport and trust across diverse groups. It allows you to understand and relate to the feelings and perspectives of others, even when they come from very different backgrounds. Exercise. Empathy Mapping Create an empathy map for a person or a group from a different background. Include what they might be thinking, feeling, seeing, and doing in their environment. Discuss this map with peers or mentors to refine your understanding. Tip This exercise can deepen your appreciation and understanding of the experiences of others, enhancing your ability to interact authentically and respectfully in diverse settings. Building and Maintaining Cross-Cultural Relationships In today's globalized world, the ability to build and maintain relationships across cultural boundaries is invaluable. This skill is particularly important in professional environments where teamwork and collaboration often involve participants from various cultural backgrounds. Exercise Cultural Exchange Meetings Organize or participate in meetings or social gatherings that include individuals from different cultural backgrounds. Use these opportunities to share experiences, ask questions, and exchange ideas about different cultural norms and values. Tip. Regular interaction with individuals from diverse backgrounds can improve your cultural competence and ability to engage effectively in cross-cultural relationships. By developing these skills, you not only become more socially intelligent, but also enhance your ability to influence, lead, and participate in diverse social environments. Social intelligence is not just about making better personal connections. It also facilitates deeper understanding and cooperation in both personal and professional relationships. Chapter 13. Mastering Communication in Virtual Environments Adapting to Digital Communication In today's digital age, much of our communication occurs in virtual environments, whether through email, video conferencing, or social media. Mastering these platforms is essential for effective communication, as they often lack the nonverbal cues we rely on in face-to-face -face interactions. Exercise. Email tone analysis. Craft emails for different purposes and audiences, professional, casual, and conflict resolution. After writing, review the emails to analyze the tone and clarity. Ask a peer to review them as well, and provide feedback on how your intended message might be perceived. Tip. This helps you understand how to convey tone and intent effectively when the nonverbal cues of face to face communication are absent. Enhancing engagement in video conferences. Video conferencing presents unique challenges, from technical issues to the difficulty of reading a room. Being effective in this medium requires specific strategies to ensure clear and engaging communication. Exercise Video call, role play. Conduct role-play exercises that simulate different types of video calls, including team meetings, client pitches, and virtual networking.
focus on aspects like camera positioning, lighting, vocal clarity, and engagement techniques. Tip. Practicing these elements can greatly enhance your presence and effectiveness in video conferencing, helping you to maintain professionalism and engagement even when not physically present. Utilizing social media as a communication tool. Social media platforms offer powerful tools for reaching and interacting with a broad audience. However, they also require a nuanced understanding of digital etiquette and the specific norms of each platform. Exercise. Social Media Strategy Development Develop a strategy for using social media for personal branding or professional networking. Include goals, target audiences, content types, and interaction plans. Implement this strategy over a set period and then review the outcomes and adjust as needed. Tip! This exercise will improve your ability to communicate effectively across different social media platforms, tailoring your message to fit the medium and the audience. Managing Digital Communication Overload With the prevalence of digital communication, managing the sheer volume of interactions can be overwhelming. Developing strategies to handle this overload is crucial to maintaining efficiency and mental well-being. Exercise Communication Audit Perform an audit of your digital communication tools and methods. Identify what types of communications are most frequent which platforms are most used, and where bottlenecks or stresses occur. Develop a plan to streamline your communication, such as setting specific times to check emails or using tools to manage social media interactions. Tip. Regular audits and adjustments can help you manage your digital communication load more effectively, reducing stress, and increasing productivity. By mastering these skills, you not only improve your ability to communicate in virtual settings, but also enhance your overall digital literacy, making you more adaptable and effective in today's increasingly digital world. These skills are crucial not just for personal success, but also for professional advancement, as virtual interactions become more prevalent across all sectors of business and society. Chapter 14. Integrating and Applying Your People Reading Skills Creating a Comprehensive Strategy Having developed a set of skills for reading people, the next step is integrating these into a coherent strategy that can be applied in various aspects of your life, social interactions, professional relationships, and personal development. This integration allows for a holistic approach to understanding and interacting with others more effectively. Exercise. Personal Interaction Plan. Create a plan that outlines how you will apply your people reading skills in different scenarios at work, in personal relationships, and in casual social settings. Specify which techniques are most appropriate for each setting and how they can help achieve your communication and relationship goals. Tip. Tailoring your approach to different environments and relationships allows you to apply your skills more effectively and see tangible improvements in your interactions. Continuous learning and adaptation. The art of reading people is not static. It requires continuous learning and adaptation. As social dynamics evolve and new communication technologies emerge, updating your skills and adapting your strategies is crucial. Exercise. Monthly review sessions. Set aside time each month to review your interactions and the outcomes of applying your people reading skills. Identify what worked well and what didn't. Look for patterns that suggest areas for improvement or adjustment in your approach. Tip. These regular reviews encourage a mindset of continuous improvement and help you adapt to changing interpersonal dynamics and communication modes. Sharing your knowledge. As you grow more proficient in reading people, sharing your knowledge can help others develop their skills too. This not only reinforces your own learning, but also contributes to creating more empathetic and understanding environments around you. Exercise. Mentoring others. Find opportunities to mentor others who are interested in developing their ability to read people. This could be through informal coaching or more structured training sessions. Share insights, exercises, and real-life examples from your own experiences. Tip. Teaching is one of the best ways to deepen your own understanding and refine your skills, as it challenges you to articulate and apply your knowledge in new ways. Evaluating success. Finally. It's important to evaluate the success of your efforts in reading people 
by looking at the impact on your relationships and personal objectives. Reflect on how these skills have helped you to achieve your goals and where they might be further refined. Exercise. Annual Reflection. Conduct an annual reflection on how your ability to read people has influenced your life over the past year. Consider both successes and areas for improvement. Use this reflection to set goals for the coming year, identifying specific areas where you want to apply or enhance your people reading skills. Tip. Setting specific, measurable goals related to your people reading skills can provide clear targets for ongoing development and ensure that your learning translates into real-world benefits. By following these steps, you can ensure that your journey in mastering the art of reading people is both fulfilling and continuously evolving, allowing you to navigate the complexities of human interactions with confidence and insight. This final chapter wraps up our exploration into the art of analyzing people, leaving you equipped to enhance every interaction and foster deeper, more meaningful connections in all areas of your life.